Good morning, lovers and rock stars. Good morning, good morning. Have you ever wondered, have you ever wondered what's really holding you back from getting your message out there? You know, today I want to talk to you about the biggest reason that I see holding entrepreneurs back today and, and brilliant, talented healers, coaches, experts, leaders, the real reason behind your visibility blocks and I want to, I'm going to share a process with you that I shared with our clients at our Wealthy Coach Academy live here a couple of days ago to break through those visibility blocks immediately starting today. Let me know if you're joining me live, type your name or drop an emoji here in, um, in the comments below so I can say good morning. My name is Vanessa Simpkins, I'm the founder of Take Your Power Back Now, Women's Empowerment, I'm the author of this this little book, Take Your Power Back Now, How to Overcome Your Resistance to Creating a Life You Love. It's how to feel sexy, feminine, powerful, prosperous, fun, and fabulous. Good morning, Kenneth. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, C. Uh, you can pick up an, your ebook version. We just launched this for uh, the first time to the public. You can pick it up at vanessabook.com. I think it's $8. You can download it immediately it comes with some really awesome bonuses to help you overcome fear and thrive so that's all I'm gonna say about this for now today I want to talk to you about visibility blocks we've been helping women for the last 10 years skyrocket their confidence and cash flow and when dealing with entrepreneurship there's a lot of learning curves that you have but I want to talk to you today about the number one thing that prevents you from just getting yourself out there yes there is fear but I'm gonna to talk to you about something else Today I'm going to talk to you not about your funnels, not about your webinars, it's not about the sales course or the social media marketing thing that you have to get right. Good morning Mia, good morning Candace. thank you. The real reason visibility blocks are a problem for you, getting your message out there, putting yourself out there, has to do with your shame. Has to do with healing shame. And... Uh, <clears throat> I've, I've always been somebody who is you know, a truth seeker and I go to tell on myself and what I learn out there, I, I apply in my life and if it works, then I go and teach other people. And that's worked for me very well here in the last 10 years. We've helped millions of women, thousands of women a year, millions of women in the last 10 years overcome fear and thrive. So today I wanna to talk to you about shame and how it impacts your vibration as a, an expert, as a leader, and what to do with it. So here's the deal. I'm on my iPhone right now. I would show you this picture of the emotional scale of, of vibrations, the vibrational scale of emotions. So they've been able to uh, put a number to emotions and shame is at the very bottom of the list. It vibrates at 20. Right above that is guilt, which vibrates at 30. And then you have anger and actually fear is like 100 on that list. At 200, you, you become courageous. That's where courageousness lives. That's where you can actually make a new decision to change your life. And then we keep moving up the scale. We have um, love that vibrates at 500, 600, all the visionaries, the artists, 700, that's just like Mother Teresa. And I think 800 and above you, poof, disappear like the freaking Mayans and you know evolve and uh, disappear. So this is the, the scale of vibra the emotional scale of vibrations. So we have shame. And what, I'm, what I mean by shame are it's time to turn your secrets into the sacred and run shame from your energetic system. Here's why. You ever look at like a puddle? and you know it rains and there's mud in the puddle and you take a stick and you, you, you swirl it around well the mud becomes very dense and you can't really see through the water right you can actually see right through a puddle when it's not undisturbed well, it's the same thing with our minds it's the same thing with our minds when the mind is all mucked up with low vibrations we can't hear our intuition or the voice of God speaking to us that's why it's so important for you to, to heal your shame. And it's a very simple process. I'm going to share it with you now, a, a simplified process that we shared with our clients in, uh, in our most recent live event, the Wealthy Coach Academy Live. It was amazing. Within 48 hours, we did a challenge. We said, okay, you guys, you know, results are about taking action before you're ready. And we, we challenged our clients at this live event. We said, you know, start making offers, start, you know, making offers on video before you're ready, get out there. 
and we're gonna see who's got the best results by the time this event is over three you know two and a half days later well let me tell you people were making sales they had more confidence the first freaking day and this process has a lot to do with it when we have shame we don't feel like getting out there we don't feel like the leader we have we you know we have this um, you know oh I'm I'm an imposter the imposter syndrome right when we have shame and guilt that clogs our channel, we don't feel like putting ourselves out there. We do other things like, you know, the laundry, f clean the house instead of finishing the things that we, th we, we say we're going to start. So I'm going to share with you guys this process. Again, there's, there's many different processes on how to overcome fear and thrive in my book, Take Your Power Back Now, The Ultimate Confidence Guide for Women. You can pick up a copy at vanessabook.com. VanessaBook.com. We just put it out in an ebook version. It's $8. It's got some amazing processes if you like this. All right, so here's the deal. This is very simple. It's incredibly simple. And let me know if you guys are enjoying this video. Let me know. Give me some feedback here if this is an interesting topic for you. <clears throat> we deal with women all around the world every single day and by far, hands down, you know, this is the number one thing that holds people back. They can be brilliant healers, brilliant financial advisors, brilliant health coaches. You know, it's fantastic, but they're not putting themselves out there. So your clients aren't really benefiting from your wisdom, right? Unless they can unless they can hear you and see you and, and your message and your offers. So here's the process. It's very simple. Write down, this is a process I got from a, a relationship mentor, a coach named Stefan Lebrecier. Super simple. Write down a list of all of the thing, all of the people who hurt you. Write a list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty-five, thirty, fifty if you need to, of all of the people that hurt you right, in your lifetime. You can go back to and don't be spiritual about it. Don't be nice about it. And then risk, here's how you turn your secret into sacred. Risk sharing that with somebody today. Call up a friend, somebody that you know. Hey, you do one, I do one, you do one, I do one. And when you, when you tell on yourself, when you risk sharing the shame, it runs through your energetic system and you are left with profound peace. And if you look at peace on that vibrationary scale, it's way up there. Peace, joy, acceptance, even higher than love. And I guarantee when you're vibrating in these higher realms, you are much more open to hearing the creator, the voice of God, source spirit. You're able to connect and hear and tune into your intuition. I built this entire multi-million dollar company from my intuition. And guys, I didn't have money. I didn't have a rich daddy. I went bankrupt in my in previous businesses. I did not understand you know, the diversity, the difference of having a job and transitioning and now being, you know, an entrepreneur and having to generate leads and how to focus on marketing and sales every day. You know, I failed my way uh, to where I'm at today. And um, the only thing I had was my intuition. So I can tell you it's very, very important for you. So who's going to take me up on this challenge? Let me know, type a comment below, whether you're catching the replay here or you're live. Who is going to take this, I mean, it's very simple. You know, success is simple to do, simple not to do. And today I'm talking to you, I'm always gonna make these videos for you guys about our, our three steps. We have three very simple steps here that we help our clients through. You know, and it's a very simple recipe for cash flow. Be visible, deliver value, make offers to people who can say yes. That's it. If, if you're not, you know, and, and, and before all of that, there's connecting to source, God's spirit, right? But then it's be visible, deliver value, make offers. And so today we're talking about step number two, you know, step number one, being visible and what prevents entrepreneurs from being visible. What's up? Jacqueline's in the house. Jacqueline, share with us. What was your, what was your experience like going through this process? You know, share if you would, if you would, if you would. Um, what was that like for you going through this process of bringing the secret the secrets to the sacred and sharing um, the shameful the shame right from our past everyone's got it you know it could happen um, you know I'll share something silly from my childhood that I haven't shared with anybody publicly in a long time when I was a kid I went down <clears throat> one of these when I was a kid I went down one of these uh, slides 
at like Montessori Park and the slide was so freaking hot I burnt a straight hole right through my freaking white leotards. And I ran around, you know, showing my bum to everybody that day. I was embarrassed. It's, it's something, you know, some silly thing that happens as a kid. I'll tell you another shameful, you know, and, and, and this is silly, right? It doesn't sound like a lot. You know, I've, we've shared some, some deeper shames on stage here. And another one, when I was like three years old, I went to go Easter egg hunting. Keisha says, I'm going to take this serious. Give thanks and praises. You're welcome. You're going to have some serious blessings coming into your life. This is not easy. This is not easy. This sounds so simple. But most people are out there just trying to look good all the time. All right, trying to look good. And I, I know for a fact when I was called, I'll share maybe that story with you guys tomorrow of how this book came to be. Um, when I was called to, to be a woman's empowerment leader and share this story of addiction, uh, you know, emotional abuse, <clears throat> surviving a relationship with a narcissist, I was like, oh, hell no, God. I, take, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be the poster child for all these things. I want to look good. I'll talk about from bankrupt to $900 a day all day long selling mops. I'll talk about my first book. I'll talk about money. You know, that's kind of more acceptable. You want me to go around the world and talk about this, you know, crazy relationship I was in and out of for eight years and could never leave and all the abuse that happened? I didn't want to write this book. I actually sat on it for four or five years because I wanted to look good. And thank God, seriously, thank God, that God will squeeze you like a freaking toothpaste into your purpose. Whether you want to move or not, it's going to squeeze you. All right, Your life will become very intense. You'll get wake-up calls, hopefully not two-by-four wake-up calls. I've had a few of those. Maybe, you know, <clears throat> when you listen and obey that source, you'll have toothpick wake-up calls instead of two-by-four wake-up calls. <coughs> So I didn't want to share this story. I sat on it for like five years. My life became very intense. I'll, I'll share the whole, the full story tomorrow with you guys. My throat's a bit scratchy today. Too much talking. I can't stop, you guys. I love you so much. I want to share all the time. My voice is like, and pause. <laughs> Thank you, Jacqueline says, every entrepreneur should read your book. Every woman, as a matter of fact, should read this book around the world. It's my mission to help Women overcome fear and thrive because that's why women stay in bad jobs and bad relationships. It's not your fault. They just don't teach us the important stuff in school. School is itself a business and they want you to get into a bunch of student debt so they can make money off you. <coughs> but they don't actually teach you how to tune into yourself. They don't teach you how to be creative. Not really. They don't teach you how to really connect with your power as a conscious creator. Not really. Not unless maybe you go to like seminary school or something. His will be done, no matter what. Keisha's got some words today. Yes. Mm-hmm. And school is a brainwash. Yeah. So thankfully, my father was a, a, an entrepreneur. He was an artist. And uh, it taught me from a very young age to, you know, follow my purpose and be a trailblazer. <clears throat> very grateful for him. So that's, you know, imagine if I wouldn't have, if I had sat on this story for another five years, because this book was published in 2014. Imagine if I hadn't written that book, the millions of women around the world would not have the awakenings, the breakthroughs, the families that, whose lives would not be impacted. You know, you're, you're actually... It's actually a very selfish thing to not share your gifts. It's very selfish. You know, uh, and money is great. Yes, you can make money as a coach. And, you know, we have a 10K in 30 day program. And this is wonderful. And we really teach women how to skyrocket their confidence and cash flow. But that's not the, <clears throat> that's not the, that's not the why, you know. The, the fulfillment that you will get from, changing people's lives is uncomparable to the, the money it's not even not even in the same realm and um, I want that for all of you you know if you're called to be a leader or an expert <clears throat> you owe it to all those people out there not only yourself and your family but and your purpose and there's nothing to be afraid of God will only give you what you can handle so 
Who's gonna take me up on this challenge of shedding your shame, running your shame, turning the secret into sacred? Write a list of all the people that have hurt you. Go back all the way to your childhood, your parents, your teachers, your friends. Don't be nice or kind or spiritual about this. Write it all out. Call up a friend and say, hey, let's do this process together. You do one, I do one, you do one, I do one. I tell you what, it will change your whole life. I love you too, Keisha. It will absolutely change your entire life. The hiding that you do, the hiding out, the not the being afraid of being vulnerable, all that has to end. Because here's the other truth, the, the, the deepest cracks that you have, deepest pain, we talked about this at our live event as well, that you have is also where the, the biggest light can come through. It's with these stories, these very painful stories that happen to you where you actually have the opportunity to find strength and give hope and inspiration to people through those events and experiences. That's, you know, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Oh, you lovers, I lovers and rock stars and fierce feminine love leaders. I love you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, like it, comment on it, share it with a friend or a, uh, a soul sister in your life who needs to hear it. Do the process. I guarantee it's it's easy, it's simple. Entrepreneurship is simple, but not always easy. And uh, if you want more goodies like this and nuggets on specific, real, tangible X, Y, Z, here, do this first and then do this second, processes to overcome fear and thrive, pick up a copy of the best-selling book, Take Your Power Back Now. You know, I get messages from women. I still get messages. This is such a crazy thing. And I never wanted to publish this book, by the way. And I'll tell you the story tomorrow of how, how it came, how God came to really squeeze me like a freaking toothpaste <laughs> into writing it. But um, I still get messages from women on Amazon all the time that say it's 5 a.m. and I am still reading your book. I can't put it down. So I read like I, I write like I talk. It's very uh, personable, some great stories in here, but also some very, you know, definite processes. Everything that I've learned on my journey. Um, to help me overcome fear and thrive is in this book. You can pick it up at vanessabook.com and it's on the website right now, so it's a downloadable version, which we've never done before and it's only eight bucks. I love you, rock stars. Let me know. Comment here once you've done this process. Let me know what happens in your life and get ready for massive, massive blessings, both in your life and in all of the people's lives who you touch with your vulnerable, courageous, tender heart. I love you. Mwah. Have an amazing day.